In that letter to the personnel board, Mobile County workers outlined a three-phase program. What we'd like is a 10% increase uh, retroactive back to January 1st. By April 1st, we'd like uh, to see all the merit raises caught back up. And then by June 1st, we'd like to see an evaluation of salaries. In general, the salaries of Mobile County workers is less than for a city worker doing a similar job, including police work. This was true even before the city's latest pay raise was ordered by the personnel board on the basis of the city's ability to pay more money. Mobile County is now going to have to prove to the personnel board that it can't afford more. The county will present its financial position to the personnel board on January 27th at a public meeting and the results will determine whether county workers do get a pay increase. Mobile County workers are undoubtedly heartened at what they see as a city worker's success at getting salary increases through personnel board action. Now the county workers figure it's their turn. But at least so far there's been an important difference and that's the county workers have at least not publicly been using the term job action. This is Frank Curry, Channel 10 Newsbeat.